All right, this is an article that came out in the LA Times. Um, and the death toll right now is 31. Of course, it's going to keep rising from this California fire. I will leave the link to this article in the description box. More victims identified in deadly Northern California fire. I want to show you something also. This is another article that I found. Look at this. California wildfires emitted a year's worth of car pollution in less than a week. That is insane. I feel bad for those that are inhaling all of the um, emittance that's coming from the fire. You know, especially if you have asthma or any type of lung condition, this can really be bad on people that are not in good health. So let's just take a look here firefighters and continue to gain control of some fire scorching Northern California on Thursday night, thanks in part to continued calm winds in some parts of the region. Altogether, 15 fires have burnt more than 212,000 acres and caused at least 31 deaths. Officials expect the death toll to rise as search efforts continue. You know how long it's going to take them to search out an area that big? Wow. Officials began to gain a toll hold Thursday night and early Friday against fires raging in Sonoma County as humidity levels rose and winds died down. Immigration officials have suspended operations in the Northern California fire areas, authorities said Friday. The only time we're going to pick someone up is in the event of a serious criminal presenting a current public safety threat. U.S. Immigration and Custom Enforcement spokesman James Schwab said Friday, do you know they're looting? I was looking at some stories of uh, people looting up there. It, it's unbelievable. But I don't want to hear anything else about black people looting because when I looked at the pictures, they were white guys. So there you go. Immigration agents will not detain anyone from evacuation sites, assistant shelters, or food banks in the region, Schwab said. He did not say how long the suspension would last. At a public meeting in Napa on Thursday night, Representative Mike Thompson told residents that immigration enforcement is commonly suspended following a natural disaster such as a fire or hurricane. And they're mentioning of Mancino, Man, I'm sorry, Mendocino County, where at least eight people have died. Officials identified three victims, um, Kai Logan, Shepard, 14, Roy Howard Bowman, 87, and Irma, Elsie Bowman, 88. So there were some fatalities in that um, county. Um, the Bowmans were married. I think this was the couple that was married 75 years and they ended up dying together. Um, they were found in their home and it's no telling how many they're going to find, you know, find like that you know, in the coming weeks as they go through all of that rubble to search for people. The residence was completely destroyed by fire, according to the Mendocino County Sheriff's Department statement. The Redwood Fire in Mendocino County has burned 34,000 acres and was 10% contained as of Friday between the Redwood Fire and the 2,500-acre and Sulphur Fire. About 8,000 people have been evacuated according to Cal Fire. So they're still fighting this. You know, it's no telling how, how much more acres are going to be burnt before they have it under control, but this is definitely a very devastating fire and we'll see how this all pan out you know there's still hundreds that are missing 
and people are still evacuating from the area. So it, it has not improved y'all, not at all, not at all. But I will leave the link to this article in the description box, along with the other one that talks about the um, car pollution, you know, it, uh, you know, the emittance from the fire being equivalent to a year's worth of car pollution in the description box. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And if you can donate to my channel, ladies and gentlemen, please do. Peace, family.